Now back to the breaking news we've been following all day long, those disturbing audio recordings. One month after Warren Mayor Jim Fouts said he was not the man on tape disparaging citizens with special needs, he's now defending himself against recordings that denigrate women and African Americans. Priya Mann with us live now. And Priya, uh, once again, the mayor is saying that the Macomb County Executive, Mark Hackel, is to blame for this. That's right, Devin, and the Macomb County Executive says he has nothing to do with this latest batch of audio recordings. And they were released just moments before the mayor was set to speak here at City Hall for a ceremony honoring Dr. King. And Mayor Fout said at the podium he hasn't listened to the tapes and has no interest in what they say. I was thinking about Martin Luther King. I like the phrase, we shall overcome. I and we together shall overcome all of these phony tapes. Warren Mayor Jim Fouts started his speech about Dr. King dismissing racist comments he allegedly said that were secretly recorded. You know, blacks do look like chimpanzees. I was <laughs> watching this black woman with her daughter and they look like two chimps. Their, their mouths were elongated out, you know, a duckish look. Another audio file contained vulgar comments about women. I think I want to date a 60 year old hack? I don't, I'm not interested in any old ugly hang. I think after a certain age, they're all dried up, washed up, burned out. I don't care how many tapes Mark Hackle or whomever makes, I will not be deterred. Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle denies the allegation and refused further comment. These latest recordings come just weeks after tapes were released, reportedly of Mayor Fouts making disparaging comments about special needs people. The audio forensic expert that confirmed the voice on earlier tapes was most likely Fouts, says the results are inconclusive this time. The recordings are too short to come back with scientific analysis to be able to say beyond a reasonable degree of scientific certainty that these are authentic and they are of Mayor Fouts' Fouts's voice. The mayor did not take questions following the ceremony, but was confronted by Reverend W.J. Rideout. Did you consider us as black chimpanzees? The reverend is calling for the mayor to resign. We have not overcome when we have mayors who are racist. Now today we were expecting to hear from the city's new diversity coordinator. Instead, that man was left dealing with this challenge, this controversial issue that's happening. We asked him specifically, how do you get your job done in light of everything that's happened? And coming up at six, he tells us he expects he will be able to do his job, which is bringing more diversity to the city. And his first task has something to do with that first batch of audio tapes that were released last month. Reporting live from Warren, I'm Priya Mann. Local 4. Priya, let's talk about what we know about how these uh, recordings came to light. Well, what we can tell you is the source of these audio recordings is different than the last time, but it is a former high-ranking employee, but very controversial day here in Warren. All right, Priya.